at the moment every time we run this um this main we just uh, launch a set of http calls spawn a set of http calls to each one of our uh, um, urls and then our application blocks forever and this is not exactly what we want what we'd like really is what we'd really like is for this to be run every couple of seconds for example just writing code as i wish uh, we could write it and see if the if the api we we, we dream of uh, can actually be uh, somehow uh, become reality in crystal so this is what i'd like to do i'd like to do something like where, where i do every two seconds run this uh, block of code where you're you're reading from the urls yaml and then publishing into the url stream so if you want uh, the url generator task is one that dies every time it reads from the file publishes to the url stream and then it terminates whereas each one of the other uh, of the other functions we launch when we when we call run is actually a, a long running one that's why we're not so concerned with termination just yet it's something we definitely need to look into but for now we can imagine this running as a server forever so how do we define these uh, every two seconds function so first thing we can do is we can inside our library uh, folder we can define a controversial concurrency util cr file and this is going to be our concurrency library which we can import from the main it's going to be require lib slash concurrency util and inside concurrency util we can define it would be a good good practice to define this in a module but you know for the sake of um uh, convenience let's just define a function say here and it's going to take a an object that i want to uh, i want you to um uh, look into from the documentation itself so it's called time span which is a very convenient way of representing um, time intervals uh, and it's very nice because given the api of uh, int 32 and, and numeric values in general you can just call something like um, number so two and then dot seconds and that's going to be a time span that is just going to have the right value so we can do the same thing here so we're going to take a period which is going to be our time colon colon span and then we want to pass in a block which is going to be our generator right and our block is not going to take any argument as an input but it's going to produce some sort of objects of type t now can we just say for every uh, bunch of seconds or, or period of time generate a value of type t and and not be explicit about what the type uh, we want here is we can because this is not go so we can just say for all t and this is just going to be working for any sort of block re block returning any sort of value what is this function going to look like well you can imagine we definitely need to uh, loop uh, that's for sure and this is a quite naive implementation but it does does the job for us for now so we're going to be doing something forever we're going to be calling blocks.call no argument to be passed because um, uh, this block doesn't take any argument as defined in the uh, definition in the in the type signature uh, for for the function and then we're going to be sleeping for the period and that's really it so we call the block then sleep for a while and then go back and call the block again so what is going to happen when we instantiate this to be every two seconds uh, run the url generator uh, we're going to be reading from the file uh, pushing the values into the url stream then sleeping for a while then reading from the file again sleeping for a while and so on and so forth and this is quite um, interesting as a behavior because what we can do really is we will finally see our table getting populated with with different values oh sorry let me just go back here i forgot to i forgot to uh, uh, put uh, columns before the uh, the type for block so let's try again
and hopefully our application is a bit smarter now because rather than seeing only one um, call to a URL at a time, we see quite a few, as many as many as we want until we actually uh, stop uh, stop the application from running. Uh, so con command C or sorry, control C or, or whatever. So let's see this working. And then to prove that everything is going on live, I'm also gonna alter the URL YAML file because at this point, at that point, we'll be able to do so. So let's look at this running, hopefully. We seem to be putting a lot of strain on on this laptop. So, but hopefully we'll see something soon or maybe nothing is going on. Let's see. So every two seconds, uh, run URL uh, generator dot run. If we go back to concurrency field, let's make sure we're actually doing something. So we're looping, right? And of course, <laughs> you need to run this every inside a fiber itself. Otherwise, our main is gonna block and nothing is gonna happen, right? Which is something you have uh, you have probably noticed is a recurring pattern here. So of course, my laptop is under a lot of strain, but we're gonna wait for a long time. Uh, so let's see if this works. So every is actually gonna spawn a fiber that runs the block every couple of seconds, and this makes sense. There we go. Right, you can see numbers going up, which is amazing. I can now go inside our URLs.yaml and I can, for example, remove one of the URLs, save, and you will see that the number of failures for local host, forget about this, uh, stays uh, fixed at eight. And now I can actually also add a new URL. I can add HTTP S slash yahoo.co.uk, why not? Save, and oh wow, an unhandled exception. And this is probably our Yahoo, um, Yahoo file, which exploded our app. Well, we'll look into this next time. So maybe we can just look into this right now. I struggle to understand what the actual type, oh yeah, there you go, this is the type of error. So let's just add, you can see we were a bit, we were not very conservative in defining um, the set of errors we are handling in this rescue block. We should probably be a bit more general and just say whatever happens, just grab the error, make sure you put it inside the, uh, the tuple, whatever it is. But for the time being, let's see, let's see how uh, we can handle with this. So going back to the running this again. Uh, there we go. One, two, Yahoo is still struggling a bit, but it works. If I change Yahoo into something else, I'm, I'm really struggling here with my, uh, what do I go to? Let's say crystallang.org is a good, a good one. And save, we're gonna see there we go, crystallang.org goes to two and then to three and so on. Yahoo is now um, stuck at 11. So this is it. So with that, I think that's that's all for today. So thanks for watching. Please don't hesitate to uh, comment uh, on this channel or uh, leave any sort of feedback that would be appreciated. And also, if there's something you'd like me to look into in the next session, just uh, drop me a line and uh, we'll uh, just go and make it happen. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good night.